Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use your image to image tool in Stable Diffusion. First step, you're going to launch the Stable Diffusion web UI. Once it's opened, you're going to go over to this image to image tab next to your text to image. And after that, you're going to select a Stable Diffusion checkpoint or a model which you want to use for image to image. I'm just going to be using this ghost mix. Now you could either upload your image over here or you can create an image in text to image and then just send that to image to image. I'm going to create my own one and then send it. So let's just say. And once you have an image that you can use, uh, you're going to scroll down till you see these buttons and you're going to click this image to image button which is going to send this image and your prompt to the image to image tab. Over here, you're going to make sure that your sampling method, seed and everything else is fixed. Or if you don't know how to do that, you're going to go back to text to image, find the seed of this image, copy it and then just paste it there. So like right here, you're going to paste this. And for resize mode, you're keeping just resize. You're going to make sure your resolution is set to the same one that you generated your base image with. And your sampling method is Euler A or whichever one you chose at first. After that, you're just going to select uh, your stable diffusion checkpoint that you want to use. For example, I want to turn this more into an anime image. So I'm selecting one and then you're just going to hit generate. Now you can see that it turned our old image into an anime version of itself. You can add a different prompt if you want to. Hit generate again. And now you see we have like more of an anime style one. And that is because I'm using a stable diffusion checkpoint that is trained for anime images. You can obviously do the reverse. So create an anime image and then try to turn that into hyperrealism. But that's up to you. Anyways, that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.